Next up on Howler for an hour, we have Never Break Up. This wasn't a game I wanted. It was a game... I was... It, it wasn't a game I wanted. It wasn't a game I was offered. It was a game I was just literally thrown. I don't know. My email just... I randomly had a key to this game. A developer... The developer of this wanted me to check it out. And didn't... Didn't wait for an answer. Just kind of tossed a key at me. I don't know. I don't usually respond to such things. Since I usually like a conversation first, but I kind of just shrugged and said, I guess I can take a look at it. Uh, it seems to be a cooperative party game thing. But the first thing I'm noticing is that this is the most royalty-freest of royalty-free music on this fucking title screen. <laughs> Let's hope we can only go up from here. I don't... I don't know, man. When your title screen is royalty-free music, that ain't a great first look for me, but let's go ahead and gash upon. Oh. Alright. Let's go to adventure mode. Please select the game type. Uh, one. Uh, do I want to be really ugly fish? Or do I want to be less ugly shark? It's fat. Or that ugly fish that looks to be having a little bit of a seizure. Or do I want to be Psyduck? Or do I want to be... Oh my god, that is... A... No. <laughs> Why do I not like that? That's not a good dog. That's... I mean, I, I'm nothing against pugs. Though I don't think they're the cutest. But... What is this animation? <laughs> There's also Panda. There's, uh... I don't know what animal you are. I can't quite remember. Why do your eyes pulse? Why do your eyes pulsate? Alright, um... We could be Cat. Well, we can't be, but... Actually, the pulsate has just bothered me in general with a lot of these. Like, what? Why is this chicken's eye pulsating occasionally, and then the other eye pulsates with it? It's weird. There's, a, there's an elephant. There is a fat hamster. There's a lot of characters. I give them that. There's B. That's for Beerus. Is that a crocodile? Or, I kind of want that one. That's, that's octopus. A sheep. Cow. Penguin, ladybug, frog, pig, pufferfish, whale, owl, I snail. That took me a second. Burb. Wow, that's a lot of characters actually. <laughs> um, I'll be Psyduck. I'm good. I'm good with Psyduck, I guess. All right. <laughs> I can't beat Crocs, so you know. I bet we have to use a gachapon. Okay, so level one. Alright, here we are. So we roll around. <laughs> Our dual control, you can control both. If I press the back, if I press the R, kissing noises. Okay. Is the music volume kind of quiet? Let me know. Why does it sound like low? It sounds like, listen to the music for a second. I'll turn it up a bit, but. Bear with me a minute. Do you, do you hear that? It sounds like it was poorly recorded or something. You know what I mean? It sounds like poorly compressed. Like I recorded this off my tape deck sort of thing. Oh, that jumping noise. <laughs> I don't hear it. <laughs> no, I see your point. I see what you're talking about. If we jump with one character. Why don't I... Yeah. Sound. Jump with both characters. Stacked sound. Yeah, that's... That seems kind of unnecessary. When an animal's attached to the ground, another animal's grabbing a crate. Both animals retract. We'll pull the crate to the attached... What? Oh, attract? Uh, retract rope. Okay, well, um... Um, I, let's try that again. All 
All right. If you're wondering. Good noise. What do you expect me to do, game? <laughs> Wait, hold on. There! Okay. Collect the coins you have. You can use the coins you collect to draw new animals or trinkets in the cash pond. Okay. Seems there's a number of coins per. If this ends with a three star system, I'm going to get. Animals drop coins and other. When feed other animals, can slightly pick them up. Can straightly pick them up. Can straightly pick them up? What if I want to gaily pick them up? Or absorb them while attaching to the ground? Uh, oh, I see. Hidden items you have collected can unlock mini games. All right. Ding. The game finish on an animal. <laughs> the game finish on an animal goes into a bowl. Into the bowl. Well, game, don't finish on an animal. That's terribly rude. And that might be sexually abusive. Please. Don't, don't finish on an animal. That's 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 very wrong. That's illegal in most states. So how many coins does it cost to? I actually whoop. no back 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 back. Yes, I would. I'd like to check check the. I'm not gonna reach. I'm not gonna fucking touch that territory. You push it. You push it one step too far. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Ah, tomato. I sure love my tomato. Much better than my tomato. Animals will turn into a ghost when you touch the venom. You'll be sent back to the checkpoint with, when both animals turned into ghosts. Oh, I don't want to turn into a ghost. <laughs> that would be very, very dangerous. Oh, I see. I only lose if both die. All right. Doesn't matter to me. The green button can move the platform of the same color. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was an interesting uh, situation. Why must the grab sound be a stupid kiss noise? Jump! Oh no! So basically, what matters here is Psyduck gets to the end. It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. So as long as Psyduck can do his jumps, then we're fine. We are fine. It's fine. I don't... <laughs> are you good? Alright, bye. Whoop. Oh no, that's not what retract. Okay, it's hard to tell if retract's gonna pull me towards them or them towards me. When it came to the crate, it was them towards me. That time it was me towards them. So, okay. Don't wanna use retract, I think. Not again. No, 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 no. Fuck you, I'm going. <laughs> there, okay. Whoa, I didn't mean to jump that far, okay. Oh god, they're desynced. Hold on, before I go on the bowl. Yay, noodles. Alright. 
The gang, okay, the gang can come on us, we're in the bowl. <laughs> As it says. All right. Oh wait, hold on. So there's a secret item in every level, and we gotta look for it. <gasps> or we could just fall off, that works too. And also we keep our coins that we collect for the level, even when we die. So that's fine. I guess dying doesn't matter that much. No! I couldn't jump because of his antics. Pork chops. Thought from the vanish and respond after a period of time being upon step on. Upon step on? After a period of time, upon step on. Yeah, but how do I get past pork chops? <laughs> I don't. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I, I understand. <laughs> the question is, how do I solve the pork chops riddle? No, you actually have to make the platforms disappear. I'll demonstrate. You know, this is really hard to do with two characters. Basically, I need to go along one side. Actually, I guess I could just do jumps. That would probably work too. Be a little more chaotic, but probably doable. Oh my god. The momentum is wonderful in this game. forbid a new player reads. Reads what? What are you saying? Are you trying to imply I missed something? Because I didn't. Finish please, just chill. See, they all vanish and respawn after a period of being stepped on. They're, they're fucking... Sorry, I didn't just find out how you explained why it didn't work. No, it didn't. <laughs> it did not work, cause uh... Damn it! The, the way to do it is to... See, the sign needs to drop, so I need to go to the end platforms and make them drop, right? God, I... You guys have a checkpoint, honestly. Do one side before the other. That would probably work. Here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that logic, though. Trying to line up these characters to actually do that without activating the other platform prematurely. Look at that! Look at that! Wait a minute. See, they are activating regardless of whether or not I touch them, which actually makes me think. I think I, uh... I think there's another way I'm supposed to do this, and it's really unclear about it. So... Yeah. Yeah. It's not what you think. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not what you th They're a chain react. There's nothing indicating they're a chain reaction system, but that's how they work. They're a chain reaction. You touch one, they all disappear. You don't have to manually go and touch the ones you want to have disappear. So, dumb. Very dumb that that wasn't clear, in my opinion. Not really a puzzle, more like... They said the platforms... The, the, the bad English said that the platforms will res will disappear and respawn after being stepped on. Technically that's a true statement, but they didn't make it clear that platforms will disappear if they're next to ones that got stepped on too. Which is the case here. Oh, we have to Pokemon Sword. 
Okay, I wonder what that update was about. Oh. I <laughs> Sorry, my brain did not think for a second. Oh, that's your point. Go, go, go. Yeah, you know, I never found the secret item here in this level, but okay. Assuming there was one. One can assume there was one. The other two levels had one. Let's find the ramen bowl. It's probably hiding somewhere really obvious. I just didn't see it. Should rotate the camera around more. That would help. Ah, it's down there. Never mind. <laughs> worth, a, worth a look. <laughs> The ramen bowl. It's like ramen, but it roars at you. It's very aggressive. Very aggressive ramen, ramen. Right. It's not a long level, so we should be able to find the ramen somewhere. We'll just keep an eye out. That's a llama sign. That that sign says no llamas here. I don't know. <laughs> where the hell are the ramen? Yeah, I'm just wondering where it is actually. It's really not a lot of level here to look through. I feel like I would have found it by now. Ah, oh, there it is. Wait. Well, I guess I'll die. Sorry, I didn't expect it to be under- I didn't expect it to be an inevitable death item. Alright, fair enough. Actually, it's not really that fair. Now, now, now I think about it, though. How is that fair enough? Fair enough, I have to commit suicide and lose progress. a bad mechanic, if, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but, whatever. How many viewers we got, by the way? Because the chat's very quiet, so I'm curious. Oh, well. 24. Okay. Just a quiet... Whoops, I jumped too early. Missed that. It's okay, just wait. Ah. Eh, enough. Oh, I really kind of wonder why this song has such a low quality to it. It's kind of perplexing. Actually, the, everything kind of does. The audio itself, like the jumping sound, is also pretty bad. So I guess it could just be the kind of blew it on the... I'm looking under invisible platforms now. I've learned my lesson. Or the not invisible platforms, but I've, lear I've learned my lesson 
and we'll now look underneath these uh, breaking platforms in case there's another ramen bowl under them. Very bad design, I think. On that one. Ding. I, I think the idea here is that if, if I mess up the jump, I gotta redo it. But fuck that noise. Just give me a second. Or like, I think it's supposed to. It's supposed to be like I need to hit both. I need to get both doors open. But I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do that. So instead, I'm gonna do this. No, you fool! Ah! Separate the two. Yeah, I, I gotta. I, I know how to do it. It's just. I also like how the game defaults me to having only two of them, or only having one controlled rather than both. Wow, we like did a weird. L to just swap, was it? <laughs> they never taught me that. I unlocked a video game, apparently. <laughs> oh shoot, did I start this game with my little uh, intro screen? I don't know, did I Did I do my intro screen with a little, you know, Twitch and Discord thing? Okay, good. I can't, I can't remember when I do it. <laughs> I'm still getting used to doing it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of new for me. God, the fish! Look at the fucking look at the tweak out. Seriously, you're right. Also, L is to swap. Oh shit! The air control in this game is fucking bizarre. Actually, it's so bizarre. I bet I could land. You. I bet I. I bet you I could land on that platform over there. Not that I have any mean, real reason to do so. Printer using your Wi-Fi oddly. Why printer? What the fuck is your printer doing? Alright, I think I... I think I get what they want me to do here. Yeah, probably that. Oh good, now we just get to listen to that forever. <laughs> huh. I even guessed the right hole. It's like, I bet it's one of these. Wi-Fi printers, but what are you printing? Another person in the house using it. Why though? Oh, so we're gonna beat this world. That's my current. That's my current goal. I don't know how many levels. I don't think it was like eight, right? I think I think it was eight. This game seems I. I mean, tethered together platformer 
game has been done since the Sega CD. Knuckles Chaotix. So I don't really have a lot to say. It, it, it exists. Oh great, I'm gonna have to learn how to do the tether thing properly. Oh, that's not great. Uh, I'll just, uh... <laughs> no. Okay. Let's try that again. If they get these things, they'll just tether them. <gasps> Why is it? Are you know, actually, here's the problem. If they're tethered close together, sometimes one of them can't jump when they're tethered close together. <coughs> I guess because of impacting their friend, they just don't do the jump correctly. So, I need them to be together, but not two together. If that makes any sense. looking for, you know. Now I don't trust the pits because the game happily in level two was like, you need to die to get this the trophy. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, you, you, taught, you taught me a precedent. Now I gotta look underneath platforms, even if it'll kill. Like, it's kind of weird to get a collectible. To, it's kind of weird for a game to have like a extra collectible, but it's like you have to literally die to get it. That's kind of weird. And not a good weird either. In the hang of this. This makes me wish I wasn't. I didn't have a buddy system going on. What if I just. Actually, what if I just went by myself and just did the jumps? It kind of works. I need closer though. Maybe I should just dead weight this guy. Well, kind of worked. Like go, having him go with me lets me do my jumps easier, but at the same time, having him not go with me makes me lets me do my jumps easier in a different way. <laughs> And then sometimes my jump doesn't work because ball physics are stupid. And then sometimes my jump does it really just doesn't work sometimes. Like I press the jump button and it's like, game's like, ah, you can do that maybe later. Not right now though. Well, there's a progress bar and so I want to fill it. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, I'd love to follow the platform. Oh, there it is over there, okay. Let's see, yeah. Uh, Let's see a pro gamer move. Eh, got one coin left. Oh, I broke the, I broke the trans transparency somehow. No, seriously, I just kind of broke the transparency. What the hell? Anyways, yeah, I get what, how you're supposed to collect both, but... Aw. Oh. <laughs> you're supposed to split them up in such a way so you can pick up all the money at once, but... I don't like this mechanic. The central mechanic is kind of lame, in my opinion. Oh, oh god. Okay, switch. Nope. Actually, if I hit L, that would have been fine, right? Yeah, it would have been. Boop. Fish. 
You know what? No. I'll just try both of them. See, with both of them though, there's always something that goes wrong! I just like how I just kind of randomly broke the glass earlier and I don't even know how. It's pretty impressive, I think. Oh, I appreciate the drop shadows. No, no, no. What the fuck? Oh, whatever, I got it. I think this mechanic is stupid. The core game mechanic isn't very fun. It'd be great if the if the jumping was more responsive, then it wouldn't be so bad, but I'm doing like basic platforming and fucking it up, and I don't even know why. I mean the tether is affecting me, yeah, but like I should still be able to jump, you know? Co-op might be better. I feel like Culp is just, you know, I, you know what Culp would devolve into with me in this game? Culp would devolve into me yelling at the person I'm playing with. <laughs> like, no, don't you, fuck! It's like, no, go that way! Culp would end friendships. I'll go with both of them again. Wrong button. I know, some co-op games are much more fun than what I just described, but that's how this would be. Uh, the There's just a large amount of imprecision, and it makes it so that this is stupid, if that makes any sense. Like, the amount of imprecision present in how this works, it's asking for it, it's asking for platforming that this system is not good for. That's a good way of putting it. I have to wonder why the developer, like I said, I just read, sometimes I get a, uh, letters in my inbox, in my email, from developers asking me if I want to check a game or something, and about games that are coming in, and that's cool, I like that, I actually really like that, but it's very rare, it, it, normally what happens is, is either I'm presented with a lineup of games and asked to respond if I'm interested in any of them, or a developer directly uh, talks to me and, and mentions and explains how they are, uh, I guess this is how we're gonna do this platforming, and either that or a, or they directly mention uh, me and ZR plus A, and like I, either I get like a kind of a press message that kind of isn't written specifically for me, but offers me the ability to play any of the games if I want to, and I can just request them. I can just answer back if I'm interested, or I get a message that's personalized to me, and I'm and I'm asked, hey, we thought we saw you do the, the such and such game. We thought you might be a good fit for this game of ours. Those are usually the messages I get. Those are the two types that usually show up. But this developer was like, hey, we think you might like this game, have this game key. And just immediately gave a game key. Which is kind of a little weird. That's not normally how that goes. Ah. Uh... Okay, well, um. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a little bit of desperation in the situation. Just, just stay there, please. Damn it. Okay, good. I always feel like that's not what I'm supposed to do because then the door sound just gets stuck, if you notice. It feels kind of weird. Um, all right. Ah. All right. 
right. I did it. Surprised it only took one attempt, actually. My god, look at our characters. Look at- look at our fucking characters. God. <laughs> Got it. Can leave level now. We unlocked mini games, by the way, by collecting the food bowls. I guess we'll have to see what that's about. Oh no, you don't. All right, I guess you'll just have to hang around. Oh my god. I guess that fixed things. I don't know how though. Those, those platforms are moving so slowly. Tomato! I, that's pretty sure it's not how you spell tomato. I, I won. I did it. I won. I won what? Chapter one, I guess. Uh. Huh. What do you want to bet the chapter two is just about as, uh. Div devoid. Oh, two players required for this? Okay, so I can't actually play the minigames. What? Yeah, that's me. No, I know, but like... No, I don't need to be told how to work with... Wait, is there no way to leave this screen once you've started it? Oh, cool. Oh, wait, no, there is. You missed a cup. No, I didn't. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you missing a... Missing a fucking cut. Hold on a second. You're right. No, I'm not. You're wrong! Fuck you. I have a cup and everything. Seven level seven cups. We're good. <laughs> that being said, I guess uh, I'm... I'm just... I'm just bored, honestly. Let's spin some coins. I got the croc. The one I wanted, actually. What was the yellow platform in yellow, yellow level 6? It was a yellow platform in level 6. Shrug? You may have seen a platform I already used to get something, and you were just maybe not watching it or something. What? Sorry, this wasn't the story of music I was expecting. Music box? Okay. Swallow your partner, then spit it out to the enemy. Use your control- Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't like to know that in the last world! Oh, that would have made the platform so much easier! Oh my god. Fuck you. Wait, why am I still platypus? That's not right. Forgot I forgot to like croc. Like I said, I forgot to select croc. No, that's not what I mean. Why did the why is it- I mean, yeah, I probably could have figured it out, but why is it only in World 2 that they actually bother to tell you a mechanic that makes it so much easier to move around? That's kind of bad design, guys. Alright, let's, let's switch to... Oh, they didn't even put it- they don't even put it in the list, like, with the unlocked ones. I have to go fight it amongst the locked ones. I mean, it'll get easier to control for sure. But yeah, I guess four times. <laughs> Fat. Yeah, I mean, now I can play a one player so much better. Legitimately.
why did they not introduce such a key mechanic yeah. in the first world? They probably thought it was like fair to put out the difficulty like that, but they thought they were—they probably thought they were being reasonable. Banana boat, the best fruit, but that's not a boat. I feel like all this music is probably taken. So if, if the title screen is royalty free, I don't feel like they tried very hard with the music at that point. So either it's more royalty free music or they took it for something else that isn't royalty free, but probably not. Uh, I don't know. Can I still grab objects while I'm... I can. I mean, sort of. Well, that was an interesting. Hey, what a no saying, Cole. You can break the boundaries of the world slightly if you, uh, <laughs> if you pick up a box. <laughs> Turns out. All right. Um. Exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, never mind. It's not breaking the batteries. It's just a weird boundary. <laughs> sound. <laughs> I think I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Supposed to be grabbing oven. <laughs> Having him. <laughs> Grab the box if I spit about it. It's not really working though. <laughs> Maybe I am supposed to just have him do the fucking jump, I don't know. You know, actually, hold on. But do you have it? Yeah, it looks like he has it. I, I guess. Man. Um... Kisses and kiss. There's kissy sounds. There's vor. The of uh, the good old, good old smooch and gulp method being handled here. You know, I don't. I don't think I care anymore about that box. You know what I'm gonna do instead? Watch. You will understand. Does work. They collide with each other, don't they? Kind of. All right. How the, how the turns are tabled. So I was also used a box to get up there. Actually, wait. Had a stupid idea. Nope, that's. Well, <laughs> it's trying to respawn. That's kind of cute. Hold on. By 
By the way, there's no way to only make one grapple. For those wondering. So there's really only one way to do this. Since I can't figure out- since the box is driving up the wall. And that is to spit this guy onto the rail just right. Or... Put the guy off the rail over there, have him then go off on his own. Nope, okay. There, that's what I wanted. Now we do this and... Damn. I need a fling. I need to cause a fling to happen. So... There. Almost. I... <laughs> I'm not even sure what's happening now. I'll take it. Okay, never mind. This game is glitchy. It's kind of boring. Its mechanics are imprecise. This feels like it feels like playing a game, but it feels like you're just trying to play a platformer. But somebody smeared the controller in butter before you started, and was like, "Here, that'll make the experience more entertaining." And you're like, "Uh." Wow, how did I do that? <laughs> Impressive. I, I convinced the fence to stop having collision. Right, new strategy. Even though it's a dumb one. That's not it. I do have a new strategy. So, getting the box, the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to have one guy over you're supposed to send one guy over and have him grapple to get the box, while the other guy grapples the ground and pulls him back. I don't know how you're supposed to really pull that off, though. Especially with the distance between the platform and the ledge. So, instead I have- I'm, I'm playing with other ideas and I think I figured out the way I'm going to actually do it. But it requires a pretty precise jump. Okay. Good. It also will require that I, um, immediately hit left trigger after doing that. It will work, though, if I pull it off. If I hit left trigger, then we're good. I gotta lay on top of the box. If I land to the side, I'm too fat. I'm too- I'm too- I'm too- I got too huge a bulgy belly so I just fall off the ledge. You guys are- you guys are really, uh, vor hungry and fat hungry. Somebody was asking me for, uh, when the next play about the pound episode will happen too, and I've said probably next week. So it seems like I need to do more playing by the pound. It seems like I need to do more art as well. Cause I got a lot of- I got a lot of fat, vault, vorish art for you guys as well. That I could be coloring. That seems. I mean, people are into it. <laughs> Eat while dying. I, I think I'm about done with this game, good guys. <laughs> Technically speaking, I know what they want me to do. I just don't really know what. Like, watch. I'll try it again, but. See? He didn't actually grab it. <laughs> Also, I love- look at the box's spawn location. They didn't make it spawn over the platform. They just made it spawn over that one spot and they were like, Eh, whatever, the platform will eventually meet up with the box. It'll respawn in the right place. Yeah, developer, that's called being lazy, though. More for war and less for fat here. That's fair. The two are rather synergized. Yeah, I think I think my uh, I think my idea is better than uh, trying to do the other thing. So remember, I gotta spit and then hit L trigger. So we got this. We got this. Oh, 
I, I had it, but he's it didn't work out for some reason. That's a shame. I feel like I'm spinning too far, actually. Just fucking grab it, idiot. I'm like projectiling. I'm projectile vomiting you out of my mouth. You should be fully aware and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I think I kind of give up, honestly. Like, this, I guess there's one other thing I could try doing, but the problem is the distance between the ledge and the box is such that doing this jump of only one character is almost impossible. That just doesn't feel right. That whole mechanic doesn't doesn't feel right, you know? It's like, what the fuck was I even doing there? I'm gonna eat you. Praise heavens, no kidding. I'm gonna jump to the stairwell now. Never mind. That was probably a checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. And I was turned into a ghost when. Turned to a ghost ran by a rolling log. What a weird statement, though. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. I'm supposed to use the box to close the gate. I get that. What if I do this? That's not- I don't have room for that. Crates could press the button. Yeah, they could- Oh my god, I could have done that in the earlier levels. Fuck's sake. Well, not that one. That one with the two doors couldn't work- wouldn't have worked there, but... Have a tur- Whoever's gonna eat this bowl of food is gonna have a turducken. Well, almost. I guess it would be a turducken after they ate it, though. I mean, granted, I should have maybe thought of that. Crate hold down button is not exactly a crazy idea. And I guess I guess I maybe should have tried pressing more buttons to figure out the Vor thing earlier, but I don't know. Those doors don't they don't want to say hello. But yeah, the level design seems to be just these large areas that you just platform between and it's kinda of just kinda of like wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? They just disappear. They don't fall off. They don't poof. They just disappear. <sighs> Developer, did you care about what you're developing? Just, I want to know. They don't even reach the end of the platform. They don't fall off between the doors. They don't poof away in the out of existence when they hit the door. They just, they. Not to mention how they spawn. I wasn't even paying attention to that before. Good. <laughs> Good. So, why do you think a developer... Excuse me. Why do you think a developer just gave me a key to this? <laughs> oh, whoops. Why do you think I was just given this, you know? How am I gonna get that back? Leave me alone. Try to figure something out. Damn it. 
I'm just making the situation worse, honestly. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is that. Their graphic when they're dead. It looks really bizarre. No. That'll do. Pretty sure I can make that work. Maybe not, actually. It's kind of, it's just kind of a cycle, really. It's like one thing to, to another, to another. All I can do is grab the coins and hope one drifts in a convenient direction. Jump, it's in middle, just jump. Do you really think that'll work? <laughs> I'm just a fucking balloon. Wait a minute, I have an idea. It's dumb, but I have an idea. Whoa! Okay. Here, you want to see my dumb idea? Watch this. It's very simple. All I gotta do. Fuck. All I gotta do is lose all my coins on one side. And then make sure they drop on the side where I can grab them. And then just, if they don't, grab them, try again. Like that. That's good. So we just keep doing that until we get them. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Fuck. <laughs> well, that one won't do at all. I wonder if we need these coins to, like, complete the level properly. I'm not sure we do, but, you know. I ate and died. <laughs> I I think I'm done with this game, guys. <laughs> I don't. I think the developer gave me a key because he was desperate for attention. Like it kind of it's kind of a weird sign if somebody just throws a key at you before asking. Like they don't. What was the exact email? I shouldn't misquote. It was like. Look at the credits. Here, look at the credits while I look this up. Lots of, uh, Chinese names from the looks of it. Alright, sit tight for a second. I'm gonna check my email and look this up. because I'm still kind of messy with my computer setup, I didn't actually have my Google sign-in yet onto the uh, new browser I have for streams.
All right, there we go. Let's see here. So this was never break up. And here. The email I received was, Hello, Caleb. I'm Bohong from Indie Nova, an indie video game publisher based in Beijing, China. We are happy to announce we will bring another break up, a party game of cute spherical animals for Chinese game studio ISBR. Nintendo Switch on July 16th worldwide. I'm sending this email to see if you could share this news with your audiences. And here's an A Switch code for you to give it a try. Like, it's not me. It's like not bad that they just gave me a code, but it did kind of make me wonder why I was given a code before I was. I don't know, man. They did say, like, if you can do a review or something, please let us know. We'll really appreciate it. So they weren't, like, demanding, like, I get, we gave you a key, now do a review. They weren't demanding or anything, so I don't have any real problem with them, but I don't think this is a very good game. Um, achievement. Boredom. <laughs> Boredom! Hmm. It's a good achievement I got there. <laughs> Alright, anyways. That was Never Break Up. I really wish they'd break up. They would control a lot better. Uh.